Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be making a card today with the Lawn Fawn set Rar Sum. And I have a five and a half by four and a quarter white card base. And when I got the set, I actually already colored these guys um, just to play with it. And I added probably way too many white accents. Uh, but I'm going to show you um, the other couple little guys that I didn't color first. So I have the Triceratops and then the little Brontosaurus, Brachiosaurus. I don't actually know which one he is. I'm sure any kid I babysit could tell you exactly what this dinosaur is called, but I cannot. So I'm blending out three oranges. I think for most of those other dinosaurs, I blended out two colors. Um, and I believe on the purple one, I only used V17 and V15. And I do go back and accent um, all of them, including the dinosaurs I had already colored with dots of a darker color. So on the purple dinosaur, I'll go back with V09, for example. And then this one with the lightest color, I just went over the little dots on his back in the lightest color since I knew those would still stand out since I had shaded around the dots before that. And I'm still working on where to put the darker color and shading and I don't know. I'm just kind of putting it where I think it looks good and obviously under things or around things like his little circles uh, or on his back legs, things like that. So I'm just coloring him in and then setting him aside. And then I'm going to do the Triceratops in yellow. So I do three different yellows. Hopefully you can see those colors that I'm showing you. I did have to speed this up because it ended up being long like usual. And from polls I have taken, you guys prefer shorter videos, not so long. So I don't want to bore you. And doing this voiceover was easier. It's easier for me in general, even though this is my second voiceover for this video because I had to pause my voice over in the app that I'm using to cough and it definitely did not keep the first half of the video of my voiceover. It's easier for me so that um, I can just work because I'm just in the dining room and my husband is watching TV uh, so that he doesn't have to like mute the television or anything. He doesn't mind doing it for me. Um, but then I don't have to interrupt anything and I can just take off the sound and do this voiceover instead and speed it up as well. Uh, but I'm also still sick and I didn't want to have to like cough or anything. Um, and I'm hoping I don't have to in this voiceover as well. So I originally went over his little horns in the lightest yellow, but I realized I would probably have to go back over it in gray or something. So I just chose C3 and that worked out fine. And then I end up um, dotting him with this color, but it it ends up kind of bleeding out into his yellow, so I end up using a an orange after I mount him to the card to give him some extra highlights. I don't know what it is about these little dots on these creatures or whoever started it. If anyone knows who started it, I would like to thank them because I think it's adorable and I just love adding them to everything now. It just gives so much interest to a card and it's kind of letting me be a little freer with that kind of stuff and making cards just look more interesting and more detailed because it just gives them, I don't know, something extra. And so I'm just grabbing a darker green than I probably used when blending this guy and adding some dot accents to him. Um, and then just showing you his little accents there. And then I will move on to the orange guy and just grab a darker orange than I used to blend him with. The app I'm using to do this, because I, I've said that I don't edit my videos and I realize that you're gonna say, well, this is editing, this counts. But this app is so easy. I'm literally just taking in the video file. I have to turn down the camera sound that it picked up when I recorded it and then um, speed it up and then I just do a voiceover. So I'm watching the video as I am talking. The app is called Filmora, like film and then O-R-A. It might be Filmora Go. There might be a desktop application as well, but this is just an app on my phone. I'm 99% sure it was free. It's I've had it for a while. Um, even if it's not free, it's totally worth it because it's probably only like a dollar or two, but I'm pretty sure it's free. 
and um, yeah, it just makes it really easy. And then I actually downloaded a free screen recording app in case you guys are interested in how this app works so that I could make a video of me editing a video in this app. Um, if I get a lot of interest in that, then I will try and figure out how to do that. Um, but anyway, I had, I think I accidentally dot accented this pterodactyl with the color I had originally colored him with. So I had to go back with the duck blue, the BG 49. And then here I was just looking up at my chart to try and remember what colors I used to blend. So I was trying to pick a nearby kind of a darker brown or reddish brown uh, for the accents on the volcano. And I end up stamping and coloring in the little hearts that come in this set to be coming out of the volcano because I cannot bring myself to color and put on a card the other part on the set that's supposed to be coming out of the volcano because it just looks wrong to me. Um, that's all I'll say about that. And so I'm blending out these hearts with a couple of reds. And then uh, those will be stuck down to the card. You'll see that when we get to building it. So then for the card base, I actually cut um, blue, brown, and green to the size of a card, so five and a half by four and a quarter. And these are all out of like those cheap Michaels papers. I don't actually know the brand and I'm in my bedroom right now, so I'm not near the paper. But those cheap paper packs that are thin card stock for, they're usually on sale three for 10 bucks, five for 10 bucks if it's a good sale. Um, but I didn't want this card to be super bulky, so I just used the cheaper card stock and I had it next to me, so it worked out. So I'm put in the stitched windy backdrop for the main background, which I will stick down to the card. And now from the bottom, actually, I think I realized that in a second, I'm measuring where I want the dirt to start and then pulling out the sky. And then I'm going to run this through for the dirt layer. And then I hold the green over the dirt to figure out where I want the grass to start. And then this is my straight grass dye from Lawn Fawn, uh, like their original grass dye that came by itself. And I also have the kind of hilly grass set that comes with three as well. Um, but this one, I have to do it vertical. So I stuck it down to the cardstock with my full stick post-its. I have to run it vertical. If I run it horizontal, it doesn't cut through the paper. And this is thinner cardstock, so it might have been okay. Um, but I've found I just have to run that one vertically or else the, it doesn't fully cut through and it drives me crazy. So now I have my three layers and I'm going to just use my tape runner and stick the sky, the windy, stitched windy backdrop, down to my card base. And my card base, as always, is like a millimeter too long on the five and a half side of things. So I thought I had this wrong. And for a couple of these, I actually have to stand up and look over the card uh, to see what I'm doing. So I end up trimming off that side millimeter because it's bothering me. And then I move along with the dirt. And I'm going to stick down the dirt layer to the card with my tape runner. But then I lift up the grass on foam to give it some dimension. And I know that I want to tuck a couple dinosaurs um, behind it and in front of it and things like that. So I have a flatter card base there. And then I'm just going to use one strip of my wide foam tape behind the grass to leave some room at the top for when I tuck anyone behind it so they don't bump into foam tape. So you can see all the space that I left at the top of the grass behind it. And I should know better than to stick down my foam tape in midair, um, but I kind of pulled up the end a little bit. So I was trying to flatten it out, um, but it works out just fine. You can usually flatten it just by pressing. And then I'm just re burnishing the spine of the card so that it sits a little flatter. And then I'm just taking a um, 
my G07. It's not too dark of a green, but it's darker than the paper. And I'm adding little dot accents just to give the grass some texture. Um, after I die cut grass, I don't have any luck ink blending the tips of it, which is probably what I would have done. Um, I should probably do an ink blend on green paper and then cut out grass. Uh, but every time I try to ink blend, I end up bending the blades of grass. And so I just went with um, little dot accents. And I end up adding more to the grass because it wasn't enough for me. But I am going in and adding um, E29 to the dirt to give it some texture. So once I go all over and you do the little dots, I go back over and I add uh, some bigger dots just by pressing down harder. And then also kind of in between the blades of grass so it doesn't look like I missed any texturizing there. So then this is where I do the sentiment and I actually end up changing this after. I inked up the I Lava You and then I put it in the center of the grass and I was going to just let myself be okay with it, but I ended up deciding it needed to be a little more prominent than it was and I didn't feel any shame in wanting to fix it. Um, so you'll see how I, I change that later. I didn't want to bore you with me sticking foam to the back of all these critters. And I was letting you know that I used my Tombow Mono Multi Glue to stick down the volcano and the hearts. And then I put foam on the pterodactyl and just stuck him up in the sky because I didn't have to worry about placing him since he was going to be higher than everyone else. So I did that part off camera and then put foam on the back of everyone and kind of decided where I wanted them. And then you can see how I'm kind of tucking them in the grass, which is why I wanted that to be dimensioned, dimensionalized. I don't know. Then I'm looking for a darker yellow, which ends up being kind of an orange, um, to accent the Triceratops who lost his poor dots in his colors because they were too close to his darkest yellow. So I'm just adding a few dots to him so he can stand out a little bit. And then I paused for a second here because I, I needed to figure out what I was going to do about the sentiment, but I ended up finding a scrap of watercolor paper. And I don't think that Memento Tuxedo Black dries as quickly on watercolor paper, or maybe it's that it's too absorbent. I don't know, but I kind of smeared it. I don't think you can tell, um, probably from touching it too much, but I, I just figured Memento would dry on anything quickly. So I'm just using the um, one inch square punch from Stampin' Up! that I have backwards to create a banner. Very easy to do. And then I lift this up on foam and stick it over the original and I think it ends up looking a lot better than it does now. And then I actually press it down with um, the rest of the watercolor paper because I'm trying not to smear the sentiment any more than I already have. So there's that. And then I decided that the grass needed some more. So I just grabbed G07, which ended up being on my desk in front of me, not in my Copic storage. And I'm adding more green dots and then some thicker dots as well. Just like I did for the grass. And then that will finish off the card. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video for every day in May. Bye.